more than 100 firefighters battle a five alarm blaze in a tightly packed neighborhood in the Baldwin McCall area. New tonight, fire crews now believe the blaze started in the ceiling of a restaurant at 33 Baldwin and then spread to the attic. Well, three buildings in total now sitting vacant after that dramatic five alarm fire. The one right behind me, the Noodle House, is where that fire began. And I'm being told that it's so charged that it's not salvageable. Meanwhile, the two buildings on either side of it are also badly water and smoke damaged tonight. Get in, contain the spread. And that's just what firefighters did, some from the rooftops, as they battled the Baldwin Street blaze this afternoon. Smoke first began pouring out of this noodle restaurant at Baldwin and Beverly around 1.30. Within minutes, it was upgraded to a five alarm fire. Hundreds of diners who came to this spot to enjoy the nice weather and late lunch suddenly found themselves overcome by thick black smoke. Very acrid. Um, at times, um, it actually blurred the vision depending on which way the wind was coming. We just kept sitting there having our lunch and watching everything unfold. And the next thing you know, a police car shows up right in front of our restaurant with the lights going. And I said, uh oh. At its height, 30 fire trucks and 100 firefighters were on scene. Investigators tracing the fire's origins to the ceiling of the Reyes Noodle Bar. From that point, fire spread within the Wallace End, Belize. There appears to be a balloon construction and got into the common attic space. Putting the two adjoining buildings in jeopardy. Fire crews sang tonight while the flames were contained to the attic. Both buildings on either side sustained substantial smoke and water damage. Once it got into the attic space, it's an open attic space. It spread in both directions. I feel like I didn't fully take anything in. I didn't realize it was as serious as it was. Staff at Reyes telling City News they first saw the smoke coming from the kitchen area of the restaurant. I felt a bit of panic, so I just made sure that everyone got out safely. No one was injured in the blaze. A dog in one of the buildings had to be rescued, but is said to be doing okay. Now, the cleanup and questions over how to recover really begin. Yeah, like we we're out of jobs for a while. We we're thinking about all the repairs. Um, luckily, everyone has insurance, but it's tricky. Now, fire investigators were on scene tonight and they're expected to be back here tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, the cause of this fire remains unknown.